law enforcement agencies that actually raided the house of Mapisa Ngakule, they should be ashamed of themselves. So these are kind of people that we have within the African National Congress. And this is the reason why I say maybe the ANC, they need to lose the elections so that they can go back and reflect because as long as they are in power, they cannot reflect. So the ANC is still licking their wounds. They are not happy at all about losing a court case against the IEC. The ANC basically wanted the courts to force IEC to deregister this political party of Jacob Zuma, the uncontroversial um political party. The African National Congress has been accusing IEC of unlawfully registering this political party. They are saying, IEC, can you please come and tell us what is it exactly that you have against us? You remember Fikile Mbalula went on national television and said that this time the ANC is going to do things a bit different. The African National Congress is busy on their candidate list and this time they are going to prioritize the people who are qualified. The African National Congress is going to prioritize the people who are qualified and now we are not going to put the people who have been accused of corruption and all sorts of things on that candidate list. But guess what? That candidate list went to IEC. And it ended up leaking to the public. And the people said, man, the ANC has been lying to us. These people said that they are not going to appoint the people who have been accused of corruption and all sorts of things. These people said that they are going to prioritize the people who have qualifications. But this leaked candidate list is saying something else. And now the ANC has a problem because the same IEC has allowed Jacob Zuma and his friends to register a political party naming it Umkontoesis. You know the ANC has been going around accusing Jacob Zuma and his friends for stealing the intellectual property that belongs to the ANC. So the ANC went to the court and they said, the court, we want you to force IEC to deregister this political party because there is no way we're going to let IEC register a political party using the intellectual property of the African National Congress. We we have it on papers. Um Kontowesizo belongs to the African National Congress. We learned from Congress of the People that all of our intellectual property needs to be registered under the African National Congress. And Um Kontowesizo is one of our properties. So there is no way we're going to allow Jacob Zuma to register a political party using the name of Um Kontowesizo. You remember last week Fikile Mbalula came out swinging and he said that if Jacob Zuma wants to open a political party, it is fine. Jacob Zuma can open up a new political party. He can name it Umkondo. He can name it Ngetelegisa for all we care. But we are not going to allow him to name a political party using the intellectual property of the ANC. This man is spitting in the face of the African National Congress. And we are not going to allow him to do that. But the court said no. <laughs> the court said no. There is nothing unlawful that IEC did. Umkondo Wesizo will be on the ballot whether you like it or not. Umkondo Wesizo will be on the ballot. And now the ANC is saying, okay, it is fine. If we're going to fail to scrap these people from the ballot, then we're going to fight for the name of Umkondo Wesizo. We learned from the Congress of the people that we must not leave everything to chance because Umsiwal Kota and his friends, they stole the intellectual property of the African National Congress and naming that bogus political party of theirs, Congress of the people. And now we have Jacob Zuma naming his bogus political party with Umkondo Wesizo. We are not going to allow that to chance. After Msuwa Lukota stole our intellectual property, the ANC went back and registered everything under the African National Congress. And it looks like Umkonto Wasizo is one of the properties that was registered under the ANC. So the ANC said, we're going to take you to the courts again. We're not going to allow you to campaign with this name. We, we don't have a problem with you having a political party. It is fine. You can have a political party. We don't care. But you are not going to name that political party Umkonto Wasizo. <laughs> I, if you listen to political parties they launched their manifestos last year they are repeating themselves this year after the ANC have launched this manifesto so I don't want to mention them by name and others are just hollow they are copycats <laughs> of what the ANC says uh, including the latest, which has won to be registered. There is no policy there. It's a one-man show uh, which wants to bring down the ANC. And guys, what what, what does Umkondo Wasizo exactly stand for? 
what does Umkonto Wasizo exactly stand for? Because I know what the EFF stands for. I know what the DA stands for. I know what the ANC stands for. What is it exactly that Umkonto Wasizo stands for? Because every time when there's a discussion around Umkonto Wasizo, the name ANC is brought up a bit. They are talking about the ANC every single time. They are talking about the ANC of Ramaphosa. We are not. We are here because we are not happy about the ANC of Ramaphosa. But in terms of the policies, what is it exactly does MK stand for? Now, you cannot say, comrades, you know that thing is a diversion, a big diversion. You cannot say you are a member of the ANC, but you are going to open a political party to save the ANC. Hey, but guys, that is one thing that really, like, I, like, like, that is the one point that really, I don't understand it. I mean, like, Jacob Zuma goes around telling people that he's still the member of the ANC. People like Figilam Balula, Tabumbeki, <laughs> Balakambet, they are all over the place saying that Jacob Zuma, he is no longer the member of the ANC. But the ANC has never came out officially to declare Jacob Zuma as, the, as, 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 as a member no more. The ANC has never came out officially and said that as the party we have decided to expel Jacob Zuma from the African National Congress. So Jacob Zuma still has a right to go out and calling himself a member of the African National Congress. This is despite the likes of Figlin Balula, Tabumbegi, Balakambete going around telling South Africans and lying to South Africans, telling them that Jacob Zuma is no longer the member of the African National Congress. So why is it so hard for the ANC to expel Jacob Zuma? If these people are not so happy about what Jacob Zuma is doing, why is it so hard for the ANC to expel Jacob Zuma? This is one thing that I cannot understand. I mean, like, Jacob Zuma is going around actively telling people not to vote for the African National Congress. Jacob Zuma is telling the South Africans not to, exp not to, not to vote for, for the ANC. Despite him telling people that he's still the good standing member of the ANC. You remember when he launched Umkonto Wasizo on the 16th of December? He said that the purpose of Umkonto Wasizo, it is not to destroy the African National Congress, but is to renew the African National Congress. He doesn't want to destroy the African National Congress, but he wants to renew the African National Congress because he believes that this ANC under Ramaphosa, it is no longer the ANC that they can recognize. So this is the reason why they are opening Umkondo Wasizo. He's saying that Umkondo Wasizo, it is the real African National Congress. This African National Congress of Ramaphosa, it is the African National Congress of the white monopoly capital and the funders. This is, the, this is not the ANC that we all know, but now we are going to open a new ANC. And this is the reason why I've been saying for the longest time that I honestly believe that after the elections, Umkonto is going to work with the ANC. I actually believe that Umkonto is going to work with the ANC and I believe that Umkonto Wasizo and the ANC is one thing. I don't know why people go around and pretending like Jacob Zuma said he wants to destroy ANC. Jacob Zuma told the people straight up that I started Umkonto Wasizo or we started Umkonto Wasizo to renew the African National Congress. This is the reason why I didn't terminate my membership with the party. This is the reason why I'm still a good standing member of the ANC. I just cannot stand this ANC of Ramaphosa. So I don't know why people are going around and pretending like there's a huge fight between ANC or there's a huge difference between ANC and Umkonto Wasizo. Whereas Jacob Zuma told people straight up that I started this new stock fail because I wanted to renew the African National Congress because we can no longer recognize the ANC of Ramaphosa. This Ramaphosa, what Ramaphosa is doing to the ANC, it's unheard of. And then uh, you say you are doing that. Um, and then other people, including in the ANC, believe that that joke must be left as it is. Um, we will defeat everybody on the ground working with our people. There's no court that will defeat the ANC. We'll defeat them on the ground. But there is a principal issue you must understand, the legacy of the ANC. And guys, looking at that court, looking at that court, court case yesterday, you remember the judgment yesterday? Do you think the judgment had anything to do with Umkondo Basizo coming out and saying that if the ANC wins the fight, if the ANC wins the court case, then there's going to be civil war in South Africa. Do you think that court judgment actually had anything to do with that? Because for the longest time, the members of Umkonto Wasizo have been saying that if ANC wins a court case against us, then there's going to be chaos. 
the youth commander of ANC, that crazy Kanyele guy, he came out a couple of times and said, South Africans, if the ANC wins a court case against MK, then no one is going to go to the ballot and vote. You remember that ready guy, that Indian guy, he came out and said that there's going to be civil war if African National Congress basically wins this court case. So now Umkonto Wasizu won that court case and now they are fighting for the name of Umkonto Wasizu. In terms of a registration, Umkonto Wasizu will still be on the ballot. But now they are fighting for the, for, 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 for the name of Umkonto Wasizu. So, what about those threats? If the ANC wins the court case against Umkonto Wasizwe and the court said that, okay, Jacob Zuma, it is fine. You can have this political party on the ballot, but we are not going to allow you to name this political party Umkonto Wasizwe. Are we still going to see the riots in South Africa? Are we still going to see the riots in South Africa? I mean, I'm just sitting here and wondering, man, like, that judgment, it, like, did they take that into consideration? The fact that the Umkonto people said that if ANC wins at that court case, then there's going to be civil war in South Africa. I'm just wondering, man. Defeat the ANC. We'll defeat them on the ground. But there is a principal issue you must understand. The legacy of the ANC. And that legacy, me and you have got the right to defend it. There's nobody who's going to take Mkondo Wesizo. Tomorrow they will take the Women's League <laughs> and the youth league and then register it as a political party and Balula there he goes with a new political party called ANC Youth League and the ANC doesn't challenge it so tomorrow we are in court with Zuma on the trademark and the copyright uh, it's not over uh, yes on uh, technicalities in terms of the IC the IEC won the case against us, not Zoom. Because the IEC argued the question of delays and time frame. That uh, despite our appeal to them, that uh, it is within the law that they registered the MK party. It's not Dalim Bov uh, who won. It is the IEC. You people do not appreciate Fikilo Balula, but you don't appreciate Fikilo Balula, not at all. And I feel like South Africans do not appreciate Fikilo Balula, man. This guy gives us entertainment every single time, every single chance he gets. Fikilo Balula gives us the best entertainment. <laughs> and honestly, guys, me, when it comes to this whole thing of ANC versus Umkonto Wesizwe, I honestly believe that these people, they deserve each other. I mean, Ramaphosa and Jacob Zuma, they deserve each other. I don't think South Africa needs Ramaphosa after 2024 elections. I don't think South Africa, we need Jacob Zuma after 2024 elections. And that's why I don't have a problem with these people, man, deciding to destroy each other. These people can destroy each other for all we care. But we don't need them as South Africans. And I wish South Africans can actually realize that we do not need Jacob Zuma to be the president of the country again. Jacob Zuma has already shown us what he wants to do with South Africa. He has already shown us that if I become the president of the country again, I'm going to allow my Gupta friends to, 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 be, the, to be the leaders of, of, of South Africa again. President Ramaphosa has shown us that if you guys are going to allow me to be the president of the country again, I'm still going to be an indecisive president. I'm still going to be this president that is indecisive, is slow to act, and everything is a mess under him. You know that people actually never thought that we'd get a worse president than Jacob Zuma. Ramaphosa is making Jacob Zuma's presidency look like kindergarten, man. Like, who would have thought that people would say that, man, I wish Jacob Zuma was the president of the country. This is what people are saying on the ground. That man, I wish Jacob Zuma was the president of the country, man. I wish Jacob Zuma was the president of the country. Because what Ramaphosa has done, man, is a total collapse of South Africa. And we expected so much from Ramaphosa. We thought that Ramaphosa was going to come here and it's going to be a reformer. You remember? This is what Helen Zilla said that he thought, she thought that Ramaphosa was going to come in, was going to sweep and be a reformer that the African National Congress needs. But it seems like Ramaphosa was, was good to be a good standing member of the African National Congress and to listen to what the ANC is saying. And again, I think this is the reason why people are so mad at Ramaphosa because they expected a lot from Ramaphosa. Coming from Zuma's presidency, South Africans actually expected a lot from Ramaphosa. People expected Ramaphosa to step up. People expected Ramaphosa to clean up. People expected Ramaphosa to no longer deploy these unqualified ministers that are all over South Africa. But it looks like Ramaphosa man, was just willing to do everything to please the African National Congress. 
Ramaphosa was will do anything to please to please the African National Congress. And this is the reason why people are so mad at Ramaphosa. Because they said, man, we just had a president who allowed the Guptas to call the shots into the country, man. We just had the president who allowed these people that we didn't even elect to call the shots in South Africa. You remember even the likes of Fikil Balula. They were eating the curries, man, with the biggest balls. Eating the curries, left, right, and center. Eating the curry. Now, at least we have Ramaphosa. The African National Congress paraded Ramaphosa as this president, a, a business guy who, who, who had his own money, a man who's going to convince the investors to come to South Africa. But he didn't do that. And this is the reason why people are so mad at Ramaphosa. So basically, honestly, I don't think that South Africa needs Ramaphosa to be the president of the country. We don't need Jacob Zuma to be the president of the country. If ANC and, and MK wants to destroy each other, they can destroy each other, but not at the expense of South Africa. I don't think in South Africa like we should we should suffer because the African National Congress and MK they want to destroy each other and I wish South Africans can actually see things like this and say guys if these people want to destroy each other let them go let them destroy each other and because we think right now losing the elections this is one thing that the African National Congress needs so that they can recoup these people have been in power for such a long time they've been in power for such a long time that they need to lose these elections so that they can go back to the to the drawing board and say guys what have we done <laughs> because it looks like right now they cannot reflect they cannot reflect you remember yesterday i did the, that video of balakambeta balakambeta came out and said that my peace and Kula has integrity and the, the law enforcement agencies were not supposed to go and raid the house of Mapisa Nkakul. So it shows you that this is these are the type of people within the African National Congress. They still think that there is nothing wrong they are doing. You remember the Deputy Secretary General of the ANC, Nomvula Mkwenyani, she went on national television and said that 30 years it is not enough to fix everything in South Africa. She said that we inherited this country from apartheid regime and 30 years it is not enough for us to fix everything in this country. Man. And people are still wondering, what is it that you people needed to fix? What is it exactly that you people needed to fix because you had infrastructure, you had universities, you had almost everything. What is it exactly that you people needed to fix? But this is what the African National Congress is going around with, telling people that 30 years it is not enough for us to fix everything. So it shows you the kind of leaders we have within the African National Congress. And right now, Mampisa Ngakula has been caught with her hand in the cookie jar. Then you have Balakambete, the former National Assembly Speaker, coming out and saying that Mampisa Ngakula has integrity. And those guys are from and those guys who raided the house of Mapisa Ngakula, the law enforcement agencies that actually raided the house of Mapisa Ngakula, they should be ashamed of themselves. So these are kind of people that we have within the African National Congress. And this is the reason why I say maybe the ANC, they need to lose the elections so that they can go back and reflect. Because as long as they are in power, they cannot reflect. They cannot reflect every single interview that you watch from the people of the ANC. It tells you that these people are failing to reflect. As much as Ramaphosa is talking about renewal at every single chance he gets, you know Ramaphosa is talking about the renewal. The ANC will renew itself. We are working on the renewal process. But every time the members of the ANC go out and do the interviews, then you will get to understand what is it ex exactly the ANC thinks about South Africa. So I don't think that we need Umkonto Vesizo. We don't need Jacob Zuma. We don't need Sir Ramaphosa. If if it if it was if it was up to me, I would actually put ANC and Umkondo on the side and say, guys, it is fine, destroy each other, but not at the expense of South Africa. Which won against us, but uh, we open uh, the second leg, which is the trademark. Umkondo is a registered trademark and the logo of the ANC. We've got it. It was registered and ceded to the NC. When we challenged COPE, when it was formed, we were defeated in court because the court said to us, COPE does not belong to the ANC, the Congress of the People, 1955. Produced to the court whether, how do you come to a conclusion that this is your trademark? We could not. <laughs> and then we went and registered everything. <laughs> so we have registered MK. If they win by fluke, no, by fluke, it will be by fluke if they win the trademark case. But they can try. But uh, comrades will not stop defending what is right. 
uh, because that's what is important. So we'll be in Devon tomorrow. And I know Zuma will arrive on time uh, tomorrow. Day. That Because that is his job, <laughs> to destroy. <laughs> you see, and then uh, to destroy, and then that is it. When you destroy, and then you go to the people and say you'll get two-thirds majority, do you see two-thirds majority in that party? <laughs> I don't see two-third majority in Umkoto Wasizo. I know that they are talking a lot about um, two-thirds majority. Man. I know that Umkoto Wasizo, they've been talking a lot about winning the elections in two-thirds majority. Man. And this is the reason why I say these people are dangerous. Because what if these people come out and say that Umkoto Wasizo basically won the elections with two-third majority. So there's going to be chaos into the country. Man. You know these people, man, they've, they, like they've told you time and time again that if we don't get our way, then there's going to be chaos in South Africa. And again, I don't see the two-third majority in the African National Congress. I don't think the ANC is going to win the elections in two-third majority. As much as they go around and saying that we're going to win the elections with an outright majority, but I don't think this is what the polls and the people actually think about the African National Congress, considering the fact that the African National Congress, their support has been drowning maybe like since from what, 2014 or somewhere like that. The, 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 the support of the African National Congress has been steady going down. So this is the reason why many people in the country actually think that we are going to see the first coalition government in South Africa. So I don't think Um Konto is going to get two-thirds majority. And I also don't think that the African National Congress is going to get a two-thirds majority. And guys, how do you think Um Konto is going to do on the ballot or, or, or on, after the elections? How do you think Um Konto is going to do? Because I know some people are crazy. They love Jacob Zuma. They are saying, yeah, Um Konto is going to get 50%. Um Konto is going to get 55%. But I don't think it has been realistic. Guys, if we are being realistic, how do you think Um Konto is going to do? On the elections, I know JJ Tabani said that they are going to do something like maybe one percent. <laughs> Some people said that Umkondo is actually going to surpass the EFF. <laughs> Some people are saying that it's going to surpass the African National Congress. But guys, I want us to be rational here. How do you think Umkondo is going to do after the elections? And how do you think the African National Congress is going to do after the elections? And how do you think that whole thing is going to affect South Africa going forward? There's not two thirds majority. This week they were in Limpopo, Salman. He was addressing himself. He went to the free state. And then he says, No, you can see an act of counter revolution. Just disruption. And then Uti was Bugele Londole. And then comrades are still speaking English. No, you are promoting. Who's promoting what? We're not pro we don't have any problem with Zuma forming a party, calling it after himself, to show his party, whatever that it is. We won't see us running after him. When you ask the question in the next conference, what did you do when Zuma stole the party? We must give an account. We must not say, I... Hey, we challenge him and we challenge him in court so guys how do you think everything is going to pan out man how do you think everything is going to pan out between the african national congress and uh, um Konto Wasizo. like i've already said man i don't think that we need these two political parties i think south africa has had enough of jacob zuma we have had enough of ramaphosa and basically um Konto Wasizo and 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 the African National Congress, they are the same thing. So guys, please tell me what you think on the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button. And the most important part, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. My name is Thomas Maba, so I will see you next time. Bye-bye.